name is Brian Becklin. I work at Anderson Global. I've uh, been here for 17 years. I'm a machinist, journeyman machinist, pattern maker. It has changed so much from 20 years ago to now. Instead of having cast, uh, wood patterns made up to get castings made to bring it to us, now it's just billet stock. It's here. We mill it all down, and it's five times, 20 times faster than what it used to be. The newer machines are way better than what the older machines were. The older tolerance was way, like I say, way better. It was like 20,000s before, 15,000s, 10,000s. Now we're shrunk all the way down to 3,000, 2,000. We've even seen stuff that is like tets, microns. The new technology nowadays allows us to set up machines and put 30 plus tools in our machines and they run lights out all weekend long unattended. It shortened my time up because now instead of sitting there all weekend long not running, I gain the weekend hours. I can just let the machine run and then I can just babysit or be on call. So I'm constantly looking inside the machine. Even though it runs lights out, I'm looking at it. I'll stop it, look at it, or I'll play the programs why it's running to see ahead of it, to see how it's gonna play out and all that other stuff, change the feeds and speeds. The end result, it's, it's about time and quality we wanna get out there. I have three identical machines that I run and, and the scheduler, he schedules my machines and we rearrange or I'll rearrange on the fly and then let him know what I'm doing. And we have to communicate. If you're not communicating, then we can't get things done on time. I look ahead five days seven days, depends on the job. I have numerous different jobs, so it all depends on that, but I'm always looking and always trying to scheme what I need to do to open free hours up on my machines. So if my machine sets two, three, four, 10 hours, I never can get them 10 hours back. So I have to have that spindle going 24 seven as much as I possibly can. So then we can keep moving forward on what jobs come in and what jobs needs to get out to get it out the door on time on a good quality. quality and like I said putting things together it just is that much quicker you know it's done it's done right the first time that's where we have a, a ideal tool pathers up front and the modelers that can just model it tool path it and cut it all right here in-house maybe other companies don't have that they're maybe outsourced or they're modeling it and it's just not as good as what we would do all in our home, one house because it's always a team thing. It's always teams. You have to build teams. If you don't have teams, you can't get things done. My team tool paths for me. My, my scheduler is a part of my team. You just work together and get things done and plan. Mm -hmm.